you ever see those companies that um, they pretty much, when you see the guys out working, maybe construction or whatever, you pretty much know uh, that they don't hire colors, they don't hire colors. Uh, they pretty much let you know. You see them sometimes out eating, uh, a lot of them in the restaurant. A lot of big, big gut white guys are sitting back rubbing their bellies. Two pick in their mouth. Like, hey, they're a colored boy. Can you give me a refill? I'm looking at him like, hey, bro, I don't, uh, I don't work here, man. I know you think all of us are the same. You think we look alike. And you think we're all alike. But I'm going to tell you something. You have ran up on the ultimate colored. If you're going to call me colored, you have ran up on a color that will tell you. A color that would have been a problem in the slavery days, buddy. So I'm going to let you know. I know your company doesn't hire colors. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find out the name of your company. I'm going to go in there right now, find the name of your company. And I'm going to get the name. And I'm going to try to get a job there, buddy. Because things got to change. We got to change it. And if we don't change it, buddy, it's going to be just like it is. See, this is 2012. But 1812 is no different. You know, we got black people advocating for white people saying, hey, you can't make that excuse no more. You can't make that excuse. Bullshit. You're not trying to make an excuse. You're just calling the spade a spade. That's what it is. That's what it is. Hey, a white spade. You're a white spade. Because you want to make everything dark be bad. Hey, you white spade, you. You white, but you white colored. You white colored.